What's up guys, welcome to another video of FS Skiing, welcome to the channel. This video is basically just a big overview of our backyard ski park, so this is coming over everything. We are going to have two more videos after this video going more in depth of just the tow rope and then a second video of all the rails and miscellaneous stuff that we then use to update the whole entire park. If you guys do want to see the old park and what it used to be like before, this whole video. I put a link in the description to that video that was posted last year and and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dylan does talk a lot in this video so I hope you guys enjoy that and I'll see you guys in the outro. Peace. Alright what's up ladies and gents. This is what I like to call collecting the summer setup. The winter setup too. All summer long. This is gonna be the rope tow winter setup. 2B. I'm gonna have to mow down that way. That's gonna be a work in progress. I'm doing that today. It's a late Sunday in August. I got school next week, so rope tow coming soon. Updates. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Another uh, another good update for you guys. Kind of skipped out a little bit. Today's the uh, sixth of December. Just cut this whole extra rail line section that I plan on using. Here's our old setup from last year. I'm gonna be tearing just about everything out, maybe adding something else, but I'm gonna be having a rope tow that's gonna start up there, come all the way down. Also, I just picked up a, a 22 horsepower lawnmower, gonna be setting that up at the very top and running at least, if I had to guess, 280 feet of, of rope. Welcome back. Today is uh, September 11th. I'm absolutely so lucky to have a skid steer at my house to be able to move as much dirt as I want. Pretty much cleared that much. I destroyed this jump right here, pulled out that rail, and I pulled down that one down there. As you can see, it's a pile of rubble because I didn't feel like getting out. Welcome back, boys. This is our update today is like the 19th of september been working on this all day it looks crazy good i mean damon's over here helping me out he really had the <laughs> idea i was just kind of in the skids here just pushing dirt but welcome back today is the uh 22nd of september getting cool solid 65 degrees Welcome back ladies and gents, today's the 25th of October, we got D-Money over here, we rope, whatever, we got the rope tensioned up, not even hitting the ground man, we are stoked, our tension right here, a little rim and then a couple of rack straps to a tree call it a day what's up guys so that last video that was took in like four days ago here he is in daylight uh how to splice a rope video in the bio but i'll have damon do that actually because i'm not gonna do it but splice this thing and just absolutely loaded it with duct tape holds up really well bunch of cheap inventions right here to hold up our rope pvc pvc some wood and a carriage bolt going the whole way through. Damon here. Here's our A-frame to flat. So a little bit of a gap in the middle. Doesn't matter, just a wood kicker with some turf. Then here we got a flat to down transfer. And then
So right now we're doing our uh, 10 minute test on the rope. These things are so loud, but uh, just the last lap we took, I've uh, timed that our slice, see how long it took to do a full revolution. And it took about a minute and seven seconds to go the full 600 feet, because that's how much rope we use. But uh, so it, it takes about 30 seconds to travel the 300 feet to get up the hill. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video a lot. Um, again, we do have two more videos going in after this, so go ahead, subscribe, so then you guys can see those videos later. So besides that, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like, subscribe, comment your local hill, and also, if they're even open yet, because I know that it's been a very late season. So besides that, see you guys in the next video. Peace.